we are on the verge of discovering an alien civilization, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope. It's only a matter of time before the news talks about the first discovery of an alien civilization. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope advances have encouraged new interest in the search for extraterrestrial life. This space telescope promises to provide much closer views of distant worlds, that can possibly bring us to the reality of alien civilization in the next few years. The instrument will give humankind its first glimpse of the infant universe, as it existed when the earliest galaxies are believed to have formed. A replacement for the Hubble telescope, the newest version. And the best one created by humanity, the JWST, better known as James Webb Space Telescope, will be able to view the universe, 100 million years after the Big Bang. The theoretical flashpoint that led to the expansion of the universe 13.8 billion light years ago. Yes, you heard that right. 13.8 billion light years ago. Welcome to Space News Unfold. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button, stay till the end of this video, because there are amazing discoveries that we're going to talk about. Astronomers want to use the JWST to study a few interesting things, like supermassive black holes, believed to occupy the centers of distant galaxies. Cosmologists will work to map the most mysterious thing, called dark matter, dark matter will reveal more about the substance around galaxies, dark matter is thought to make up most of the universe. The next thing that astronomers will use the James Webb Telescope for, will be to study other planets that could contain alien life. What do you think? Will the James Webb Telescope find alien life? It's very likely that this new technology telescope, have a big chance of discovering new life. Let me know in the comment section down below. The Space Observatory, will also investigate whether planets outside our own solar system may be suitable for life, which is a possibility to bring us to the question, is there life out there? The James Webb Space Telescope has extraordinary equipment, such as cameras on the telescope, that will take images of other planets, to look for the presence of water and other hints of life in the atmosphere. Professor Martin Barstow, a scientist who helped develop the Space Telescope, said that it could reveal the existence of extraterrestrial life forms in space, based on those images that will be taken by the telescope. There is a 50% chance that we will discover something unusual, that will lead to new answers. We will learn about the origins of the universe, and how life came about and possibly, although we can't guarantee, about other life in our galaxy as well, he said. He described the launch as, the beginning of a new era in astronomy. The telescope is so important that it's going to completely change the way we view the universe, and the way we view our place in it, he said. The James Webb Telescope is really the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, but is more precise and efficient because of the size of its huge mirror, the range of light it can detect, and its location. These attributes, will enable the Webb Space Telescope, to study the planets in our solar system and other planetary systems in unprecedented detail that haven't been studied before. Moreover, the scientific instrument developed by Barstow's team, is designed to analyze many types of celestial bodies, including the atmospheric composition of distant exoplanets. And this type of analysis is terrifying, because only one analysis can change the whole world's perception, of the universe and alien life. What we're looking for, our holy grail, is biosignatures, that are signs of extraterrestrial life, explained Natalie Willett, an astrophysicist who does communications for the James Webb Telescope. She hastened to add that we shouldn't imagine these signs of life the way they are depicted, like in science fiction films like Star Wars, we're talking about finding signs of biological activity, or the signature of certain molecules that we have identified as essential to life. Think about oxygen, water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane or ozone. In combinations, we may be able to determine that conditions are conducive to the development of living creatures, when we explore an exoplanet using the telescope she said. Telescopes are also time machines of a sort. Looking into space is like looking into the past, said Willette. Light waves travel so fast that, to the naked eye, they seem to flash instantly from one point to another. In space, however, the distances are so vast that the time it takes light to travel, is perceptible. That makes the JWST an extraordinary time machine. It will be able to see back in time to 100 million light years after the Big Bang, something that has never been done before. So chances to learn about the universe, and the chances to find extraterrestrial life are very much likely. That's remarkable, considering that the beginning of the universe was a tumultuous period. Galaxies were colliding, and stars were forming at a rapid pace. Willett noted. The truth is that the James Webb Space Telescope, will transform the ability to learn about these far worlds. So far, it's been difficult to know what distant planets are really like, beyond some basic information, 
like how massive they are, and how far away they are from the star they orbit. That's because scientists usually don't see the planets themselves. Instead, researchers detect planets indirectly. For example, they can measure how a planet's gravity makes a star wobble, or watch as a star dims because a planet has passed in front of it, and blocks some of the star's light. And that was the only research scientists did in the last 50 years. Which was based on basic knowledge. Already, it is sometimes possible to learn a bit about a planet's atmosphere, by using a telescope like Hubble to analyze the starlight that filters through that atmosphere. Astronomers can do this analysis for the big, hot planets, with lots of gas that the light shines through. But for the small planets, like Earth, with a little bit of an atmosphere, astronomers need to catch more light to do the same thing. And these thoughts were from scientists working for NASA, but that's where the James Webb Telescope comes in. To create revolutionary changes for the astronomers. The telescope's enormous light-collecting mirrors will catch enough light to let scientists analyze the chemical makeup of small rocky planets' atmospheres like they never have before. That's important, because if any of those planets have life as we know it, scientists would expect to see certain telltale combinations of different gases that they call biosignatures. Such as oxygen plus methane. The James Webb Space Telescope does have the capability to measure those key biosignatures. So pretty much, it's within scope for the James Webb Space Telescope to find hints of life on rocky planets. One intriguing planetary system that the James Webb Space Telescope will study, is about 40 light years away. A small, cool star, called TRAPPIST-1, it's orbited by seven Earth-sized planets, and three of them, orbit in the zone where temperatures should be mild enough to have water in liquid form. It's the perfect target for the James Webb Space Telescope, says the astronomers who think that there is a possible alien life there, based on analysis and research from 2014. Do you think that alien life is already in our solar system? A lot of research leaves us with unanswered questions, that maybe aliens are already among us. The James Webb Telescope should be able to reveal whether or not any of these planets are actually surrounded by air. What is that air made of? And is the air the same for planets that are close to the star, or planets that are far from the star? Experts expect, that if any possible atmospheric signs of life are found by this telescope, scientists will argue fiercely about what the findings really mean. And the public might end up getting the wrong idea, thinking that habitable zone plus water means that there are aliens, which that doesn't have to be the case. Trying to tease out subtle combinations of gases that might mean life on other planets, is an extremely difficult thing to do, especially for a telescope that was not conceived with this task in mind. That's why, some astronomers think it's a stretch to believe that the James Webb Space Telescope will be able to find hints of alien life if they're out there. NASA's telescope should definitely be able to see what gas dominates an atmosphere, but, when you start talking about combinations of different gases, particularly those that have a very low abundance, or not very strong spectral features, it's a really big challenge. In the end, NASA's James Webb Telescope, should reveal planets outside our solar system, because it's built that way to search Earth-like planets for signs of life. It is only a matter of time, when humanity will find aliens in the universe, and with the help of the James Webb Telescope, we will be able to view galaxies and stars in infrared. Which will allow us to see celestial bodies in great details, due to those golden hexagons, which are powerful mirrors, used to detect light from distant galaxies. Should we be excited because we are closer than ever to finding alien life? What would that mean for our world and our humanity? Even the slightest, microscopic movement, recorded in our mysterious universe, will be a huge discovery for our humanity. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. And I will see you in the next Space News Unfold.